Assalamu alaikum. In this video lecture, we'll be talking about the sounds of language, which is called phonetics. So, phonetics is the study of speech sound, of human speech sound rather, and this deals with that how the sounds are produced, how they're transmitted, and how the sounds are received. Look at this poem. You may see in this poem that certain words are same in their written patterns but they're pronounced differently. So this is where phonetics works. I take it you already know of tough and bow and cuff and dough. Others may stumble, but not you. On hiccup, thorough, lock and through. Well then, and now you wish, perhaps, to learn of less familiar traps Beware of hurt, a dreadful word that looks like beard and sounds like bird. And that it's said like bat, not beat. For goodness sake, don't call it deed. Watch out for meat and great and threat. They rhyme with suit and straight and debt. So by pronouncing all these words, you can get to have an idea that how same words written in the same pattern, having the same letters or alphabets almost, they're spoken differently. So here we need phonetics. So phonetics is the study of human speech sound, that how the words are produced, how they're transmitted, and how they're received. The general study of the characteristics of speech sound is called phonetics. Our main interest will be in articulatory phonetics, which is the study of how speech sounds are made or articulated. Other areas of study are acoustic phonetics, which deals with the physical properties of sound uh, or speech and when the sound is there in the air, and auditory phonetics, which deals with perception via the ear of speech sounds. The first branch is articulatory phonetics. Articulatory phonetics is concerned with how the sounds of language are physically produced by the vocal apparatus. The units articulatory phonetics deals with are known as gestures, which are abstract characterization of articulatory events. Speaking in terms of articulation, the sounds that we utter to make language can be split into two different types, consonants and vowels. For the purposes of articulatory phonetics, consonant sounds are typically characterized as sounds that have constricted or close configuration of the vocal tract. Vowels, on the other hand, are characterized in articulatory terms as having relatively little constriction, that is, an open configuration of the vocal tract. This diagram will further elaborate the articulatory phonetics. In this diagram, we have manner and place of articulation, and we use all the words using these parts of body, basically the parts of our mouth, to produce certain sounds. So, in detail about these sounds, we'll be studying in the manner and place of articulation. Acoustic phonetics. Acoustic phonetics deals with the physical medium of speech, that is, how speech manipulates sound waves. Sound is composed of waves of high and low pressure areas which propagate through air. The most basic way to view sound is as a wave function. This plots the pressure measured by the sound recording device against time, corresponding closely to the physical nature of sound. Loudness may be found by looking at the amplitude of the sound at a given time. As the sound is produced in the oral tract, the column of air in the tract serves as harmonic oscillator, oscillating at numerous frequencies simultaneously. Some of the frequencies of oscillation are at higher amplitudes than others, a property called resonance. 
the resonant frequencies of the vocal tract are known in phonetics as formants. The analysis of formants turns out to be a key to phonetics or acoustic phonetics as any change in the shape of the vocal cavity changes with resonances are dominant. There are two basic ways to analyze the formants of a speech signal. Firstly, at any given time of the sound contains a mixture of different frequencies of sound. The relative amplitudes of different frequencies at a particular time may be shown as frequency spectrum and uh, frequency is plotted against amplitude and formats show up as peak as shown in the diagram that whenever we are speaking when the sound is uh, uh, spoken in a normal way the the frequency will not be the greater one but when you uh, use a chest pulse or when you uh, s stress on the sound so the sound uh, in transmission has uh, comparatively a larger waves as you can see in the picture or the diagram that uh, some of uh, the frequencies they are quite uh, tiny in the size but some are uh, uh, comparatively greater so that shows that uh, the voice is uh, changing its tone and whenever there is change in tone the frequency is also changed so given the development of modern technology acoustic analysis is now accessible to anyone with a computer and a microphone so whenever you have a microphone with you you can have its analysis by going to your sound recording you can see that whenever you are speaking slowly there are uh, smaller frequencies and whenever you are speaking with your greater volume so the frequency will increase and you can see the waves getting thicker so that is a representation of your loud volume so this is how acoustic phonetics deals with the transmission of the sound that one person is speaking and that sound in whether in a low voice or high voice is reaching the next person so acoustic phonetics deals with the rise and fall and it notices the frequency and the changes within those frequencies auditory phonetics is the branch of phonetics concerned with the perception of speech sounds like how they are heard or how they are received it thus entails the study of relationship between speech stimuli and a listener's response to it it is distinctive from uh, articulatory phonetics which involves the study of the ways in which speech sounds are produced by the vocal organs and from acoustic phonetics which involves the analysis of the speech signal primarily by the means of instrumentation in fact issues in auditory phonetics are often explored with reference to articulatory and acoustic phonetics indeed there may be no clear distinction made by some speech perception researchers between the aspects of uh, acoustic and auditory phonetics due to the fact that two fields are closely related but in general we can say that uh, uh, primarily we are having three branches of phonetics first of all we have uh, articulatory phonetics that deals with how the speech sounds are made then we have acoustic phonetics that deals with how the speech sounds are transmitted and then auditory phonetics that deals with how the speech sounds are received so whenever we are using the word speech sound we should be very careful that we are talking about human speech so phonetics is about the human speech or we are making an analysis of human speech that how the human speech is produced, how it is transmitted and how it is received.